I am standing on Colburn Street. To my right is Loria Branford YMCA. This area used to be the center of Branford's economy and Branford's Jewish businesses. My name is Christina Hahn. I'm an associate professor of history at Loria Branford. In 2019, I teamed up with some local historians and artists in the city to create this group called Memories of Bramford with an aim to highlight Bramford's diverse immigrant uh, communities. And the first community that we decided to focus on was the Jewish community. The Jewish community used to be one of the most dynamic immigrant communities in the city, and now they're virtually gone. And we really wanted to highlight the history and legacy of this community. The earliest Jewish members had to rely on personal prayer and family service, but they always wanted to set up their own uh, faith center as soon as possible. So by 1907, people's homes could no longer accommodate uh, the number of believers, so they used an upper hall of 21 George Street, which was Wonderland Cinema. Wonderland Cinema was operated by the Jewish Allen family. The Allen family moved from Pennsylvania um, in 1906, father and sons, and they opened the third Canadian movie house here in Brantford, um, with the two other cinemas being in Toronto and Montreal. The Jewish community in Brantford was known as a community of merchants. Most of Jewish business downtown were clothing stores. About 50% of downtown businesses in Brantford were Jewish owned and they became quite prosperous. By the 1960s, the community uh, peaked at 150 families and they had an active synagogue, a Hebrew school, and Jewish associations. And they became an integral part of the city's life and supported the city's economic, political, and cultural life. We even had a Jewish mayor in the late 1950s, Max Sherman. The exhibit really went beyond all our expectations because this was the first event that we organized as a group together and we were featured on CBC News um, twice. I even got an email from someone in Israel whose family used to live in Brantford and this person found out about our event online and wished us um, all the best and said they would really would love to have been here. I want people to remember that history of Jewish immigrants. Their once thriving life and community in Brantford's downtown. And that is the history of this place, our campus, before it was called Loria Brantford.